So here's two swings, the original swing here on the left with the power click on the lead wrist on the right in blue. As we go up to the top of the swing, and what I'll do is I'll pause both of them at the top so they're in the same spot here. And you can see that with the power click, the club face is more square than the original swing. Also, in transition, the club shaft is coming down on a shallower angle or pointing more outside the golf ball here with the power click versus the original swing. And if we go to midway down, there's a club face that's more closed than the original swing, just keeping the lead wrist off the power click. So now there's less trying to roll the wrist to square up the club face into impact. So the timing is going to be more repeatable and less variables.